which one takes precedence, you know? All right, we're going to talk about uh, our weather yesterday afternoon. Just beautiful, and it we'd was. like some more, please. Yeah, well, we've got uh, more of the same pretty much. You know, yesterday, late in the day, we had enough clouds for just a gorgeous sunset. That was the case at Liberty Park. This photo sent into uh, Utah's Weather Authority Facebook group. We've got lots of uh, nice-looking pictures there. Uh, this Morning temperatures are pretty chilly, which is no big surprise considering yesterday uh, we only warmed up into the upper 30s in Salt Lake City, which uh, did put us pretty close to average for this time of year. Our normal low is 25. We're running a little bit uh, below that this morning, starting out 22 in Salt Lake. And that's one of the warmer temperatures on the map. You can see it's in the teens in Wendover, uh, single digits in Logan, Evanston, where it's 6 degrees, even well below freezing in St. George, where it's currently 28. So. Uh, you need to make sure you have plenty of layers to keep warm when you head out this morning. Now, high pressure is centered toward the coast, maintaining a northerly flow. We've got a weak weather system caught up within that today that's sending a mainly dry cold front across the state, knocking the temperature down. But high pressure builds back in over the interior west tomorrow, stays there through the weekend, and that'll gradually warm us up again. But at the same time, it'll allow inversions to strengthen and air quality is going to get worse. Now today it'll be mostly sunny in Salt Lake with a high temperature of 36, a little cooler than it was yesterday, obviously. Uh, that'll be the trend across much of the state. A lot of readings running close to or a little bit below where they were on Wednesday. Uh, mostly sunny today. One of the problems behind the front is that we'll get some strong winds developing in the canyons of Washington County this afternoon that might be gusting up near 50 miles per hour. So that could make travel difficult for some of you, but then that should be dying down by this evening. Now, temperature will gradually be climbing in St. George, making it into the upper 50s by Sunday and Monday, and then cool off again by the middle of next week. And for northern Utah, we've got some very cold mornings for the rest of the week. We'll be dropping down into the upper teens in Salt Lake. Otherwise, it'll be sunny, but with air quality getting worse, increasing valley haze on Saturday and Sunday. But a storm moves in by Monday. That should clear out a lot of the smog and possibly bring some snow. But as of right now, it looks like whatever we get would be pretty light.